everybody. So today our art lesson is creating monsters. Ooh, we're going to do some abstract art and create a monster. So I want you to look at this piece of paper, right? It's right up there. And we're going to take our pencil and just create sort of like a squiggle, but don't go too crazy. Okay. So I want you to watch. I'm going to go around. I want to use the whole paper if I can. Go around, go around. Don't touch yet. And close. Okay, so let's see. I have one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to actually connect this one so it can make one, two, three, four, five different monsters. Okay, I know it's hard to see right now, but wait, once we start coloring, it will get more clear. So take one of your colored pencils and work on the outline, the outside of your one of the pieces, right? One of the lines, just the outside of one of the lines. And you want to make it sort of thick. Okay. Sort of thick because you want it to be really visible. And if you go a little bit on the outside, that's okay. It's our art. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be an expression of what we want it to be. Right? So go all the way around. Let me see if I can. There we go. Okay, it's focusing a little better. All the way around, all the way around. Okay. So you can see the outside of the line now, right? Now, I'm going to think about attributes of a monster, right? And eyes, first of all, we definitely need eyes. I want one eye. I'm going to use my pencil to make my details. And I'm going to make an eye. I think I'm going to have a, a straight line on the bottom. And then, let me see if I can go a little closer so you can see better. There we go. Straight line on the bottom. And then make it like a half circle at the top. And give him a pupil. Okay. And as for the mouth, I want some teeth. So I'm going to make a big wide mouth. Oh. Okay. Then I'm going to take my red. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to lightly fill in the rest. Lightly fill in the rest, okay? So if you don't have colored pencils, you can use crayons. Just make sure the outside line is nice and dark. And then on the inside, you're nice and light. Okay. I don't know if I wanted to color the inside of my eye on that one, but... It is what it is. That's okay. Okay. So now I'm going to take that same pencil. And I'm either going to go with the red or with the black. I think I'm going to go with the... Hmm. With my pencil and go in darker. Okay. So go in darker. And color that in. So make sure it's visible. You can really see that eye now, right? And really trace that line in for the mouth. If you have black, you might want to use black. So that it stands out even better, right? There you go. That's only one monster, okay? I also have this circle sort of inside. And I want to choose a color that contrasts, that is different. I don't want the same color or a color that's too close. So I'm going to use this dark blue. And I'm going to do this circle that's inside. Okay, right inside, my squiggle made this shape. I'm going to go in. Again, you want it nice and dark, nice and thick. Go back in and color, color, color. And color, color, color. I'm going to do this tight too this time. You see how that really makes it stand out, right? Helps it pop out a little more. I'm going to think this side, this time I'm going to use big eyes, big round eyes. I want to make a surprised face. I'm going to get my pencil and make big eyes and a surprised mouth. Okay, put my pupils right in the middle. This time I'm going to make sure when I do color it, I do not color the inside of my eyes or the inside of my mouth. 
So I'm going to go, and I'm going to shade, shade, shade. Okay, nice and light, not too dark. But staying outside of my eyes, staying outside of my mouth. Go, go, go. Okay. Now I'm going to use my pencil to trace again. I want that line nice and dark. And I'm not going to color the inside of my eyes because the whites of your eyes are white, right? Hello. Okay, go all the way around. All the way around, all the way around. So that those eyes really stand out. And do your mouth also. Big round O. Okay, there we go. So now, I'm going to go to the other side of my paper. Okay, I know it's hard to see until I trace it. And I'm going to choose green this time. And I'm going on the outside of my lines. Outside. Okay, nice thick line. Go all the way around. And every monster has the same thing. But you do need to think about your monster attributes. You don't want your monsters to all be the same, right? Now, they are monsters, so they can have one eye, two eyes, like us, or maybe three or four or five or six. Right? They can have a whole bunch. It's up to you. Because it's your monster, you can make it as you wish. And just like the other one, I didn't, I'm not going to color the inside line. Because I want that to be a different monster. So I want that to stand out. So again, so here's my green. Now let me think. Hmm. On this one, I'm going to make sort of a, a evil eye. And just one. Because just like on this side, I'm making it a profile. So just one big eye. But this time, straight line on the top. And the rounded part on the bottom. Okay, and I'm going to make him look backwards. He's looking at the other monsters. What the heck is going on over there? Okay, can you see it? Trace that just a little more to make it a little more obvious for you. Okay, there you go. And I'm thinking for the mouth on this one, I'm going to make a smirk. So just sort of like a half smile. Hmm, what is happening over there? And this monster, I think I'm going to give him hair. So when I color this one, first I'm going to go in with some black. Just make lines like that to make it look like he's hairy. Okay. And when I color with my green, again, I'm going to go in lightly. And then when I go back in, I'm going to go and trace those lines. Okay. Again, I'm not doing the inside of the eye this time. So I don't know if green matches. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to trace those lines so they are more visible. Okay, there we go. There's my green monster. Okay, and I have two more circles inside. Okay, let me go and see. What color? I think I'll do pink. Pink is very different from green. Good contrast. Again, do that inside line. And I'm going to do this one too, just like I did for the blue guy. Again, nice and thick. Trace those colors. You want it to be visible. Okay. Nice and dark. Now, decide what you want for your eyes on this one. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm even going to give this guy, no, on this one, I'm going to do a tail. But I'm thinking, maybe, hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm thinking just one eye, not a profile, but this is a one-eyed monster. So one teeny, teeny eye, just a black eye, just one black eye, sort of spooky because there's no iris at all. And I'm going to make the mouth a rectangle and do some teeth. Okay, again, go in and make your lines heavy, heavy, nice, heavy lines, make it more visible. And then go in and shade lightly with the color. Do not shade the inside of your mouth. You can go over the eye this time because it's just a pupil. There's no whites. So there you go. All right, there's my pink one. I have one more monster here at the bottom. 
And I think that one will be sort of like a... No, that's too close in color, so I can't use that one. Green I already used. Blue I already used. Red I already used. Pink I already used. I'll use this blue. It's a different, like a lighter shade. Okay? So again, I'm going to trace my line. Nice and thick. I went on the outside. That's okay. It's not a big deal. It's my art, right? It's my expression, however I want it to be. You see how this one doesn't look so bluey? It looks more like a slate gray. Okay, there we go. This guy, I'm going to give him a tail. Mm -hmm. All right, so there's a big tail. Okay, and again, shade that in. Trace it. Trace it. Okay. And let me think. For the eyes on this one, I'm going to give them some evil eyes. Ugh. Evil eyes. And I'm going to have him like this. Circles with a line on them. Circles with a line on them. And I'm going to move to a really big mouth. Ah, she's angry. It looks like a girl, doesn't it? I think so. You can agree or disagree. doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Go back in and color. Do not do the inside of the mouth. Okay. Go around. Shade, shade, shade. Shade, shade, shade. And you have just made an abstract monster. But you know what? I think I want to add... Maybe some ears on this red guy. Okay, let me go out just a little bit. You can see it better. There you go. And add some ears. Okay, and color it red. Now he's got ear. Looks more like a horn, actually. Maybe it's a horn. Hmm. Okay. And I think I want to add... I think that's it. I like it just the way it is. What do you think? How did your monster come out? Did it come out really nice? Very cool. So I'm going to show you right here what it looks like in real color. I'm going to show you another one I made that ended up with six. You can see on this one I have one that has scales. I have one that has a lot of eyes. And I have one that has spots. And it's sort of sleepy. Right? So it's up to you how you want to make your monster. I hope you had fun creating your monster, and I will see you guys later.